Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising. And Pisces, it's your weekly reading for 23rd to the 29th of December, last week of the year. So this week, Pisces, we have the You're Already Doing It Oracle card. We have the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, I'm very glad that um, we got this You're Already Doing It Oracle card, Pisces, because it just backs up everything that's going on in this reading. You're obviously doing something right, because look at these cards. They are happy, glowing, positive, abundant, victorious. Um, yeah, really beautiful reading, Pisces, and I'm really glad to see a lot of the signs are starting to get these um, readings. Definitely a couple of months ago when we were in the throes of purging out those denser energies um, for, you know, to top off that decade. There were so many, you know, Ten of Swords endings and towers and all of that. Well, you know, I think you guys have probably had your fair share, but the energy is definitely shifting and changing. And that um, vibrational energy here is lifting because we just see a lot of high frequency cards here. So before we unpack the tarot, guys, I'm going to read out that oracle for you. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Do not question things so much. You're on the right track. You're facing the right way. It's happening and you're closer than you think. You're exactly where you need to be and things are moving at perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted will soon blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You've come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. Well, how perfect is that, Pisces? Yeah, I mean, we can see here that the seeds that you must have been planting are definitely growing and expanding because we can see the you know big indications of abundance both on a physical, material um, realm and an emotional realm for you as well. So yeah, I feel uh, I really wanted to start here because, you know, it talked about in that oracle card about your foundations now being firm, now being solid. Well, you know, the, the six of wands for me is somebody who has, you know, ridden out of a darker time with a sense of victor victory with their head held high. So I feel like some of you maybe, you know, in the weeks, months before this reading, may have had tower moments, may have had ten of swords endings and they that, that those experiences came into that tower experience and ten of swords experience came in to basically clear out anything that was built on a shaky foundation so that you could lay a fresh new, new one, I'm just seeing a really firm concrete slab there in order to build your next chapter on is what I'm seeing. So I feel like some of you have had those times and now you're kind of, um, you're, you're past the aftermath. You're actually in the part where you're actually celebrating the success and victory of being able to allow those completions to happen, of being, you know, allowing those towers to fall, even though, gosh, it can be so tempting to hold on, to rebuild them. But here we see you, you know, chin up, riding in a sense of victory. You know you've taken the first steps of inspired action to change your life for the better. And, you know, you're victorious. You're celebrating that success. And I feel like other people have probably seen that shift in you as well and seen that change. And, you know what, Pisces, that shift is you coming, you know, back to yourself here. King of Cups, no doubt this is you. You know, in all your, you know, watery Piscean glory, somebody who is in charge of their emotions, somebody who, no matter how, you know, tough things get, no matter how, you know, much turmoil they're surrounded by, can stay strong and grounded, but still connected with their sense of compassion and emotional intelligence. So Pisces, I really feel that any storms that you've weathered this year have led you to this place where you can be mature, when you know, when you can be, you know, dominant when you need to be, when you can be soft when you need to be, but you're in your essence, you're in your glory. Yeah, and you know, we see this little ship behind him here. It's like when we're in control of ourselves, you know, we sort of, we're in a position where our ships can come in and we can receive as well as give. So I'm really seeing that you've probably been through a bit of a journey this year, 
But, you know, the tarot is telling you that the direction that you're facing now, you know, is your true north. And you have, you know, walked out of the darker time. Now you're facing into the light and you're actually on the right path and you're going in the right direction here for you. I mean, we had the reminder in the Oracle card too, you know, not to not to rush things and not to be impatient. And here we have, you know, the Eight of Wands, which can relate to quite swift change. So some of you might find yourself in a period of swift forward movement, of swift change. And even if we're feeling that sense of things changing quite rapidly around us, it's important to stay calm and grounded like the King of Cups, um, rather than kind of getting swept away in that in that momentum and try not to rush things try to make clear logical grounded decisions um, you know some of you might be faced with new decisions in work and love because you've cleared the slate in the recent past you know some of you might even be relocating or moving or traveling as part of this new change some of you might be receiving messages especially through online means you know phone calls internet messaging that kind of thing social media that have the potential to change your reality in some way that have you know the have the potential to lead and connect you to some of this greatness that we see coming in so yeah i mean the eight of wands also has an element of divinity about it as does the hierophant so i feel like you know this is you know some there's some element of divine guidance here that's kind of leading you to your next chapter you know you are facing that true north but now you're actually being moved forward to connect with the situations that you're truly meant to to be within Pisces. So, you know, I really, um, the next three cards, almost want to read them together. But, um, yeah, I mean, let, let's go with the Hierophant here. So, okay, now let's grab them all. <laughs> the thing is, right, we have abundance here on quite a few different levels so the nine of pentacles is about somebody who knows that they are abundant in their own right they're independent self-sufficient they know how to build their material success they know how to invite a sense of luxury and quality into their life rather than quantity it's about being able to stand in your own glory um, make it on your own you don't need other people you don't need help don't need guidance you know it's really that self-sufficiency abundance card on a physical material level and then the ten of cups is you know the similar level of abundance but in an internal realm love joy harmony emotional connection with others so this combination to me just says abundance on all levels material enough you know enough uh, material resources enough money um, to live a beautiful life and then also the feelings of love joy harmony to live your best life on an emotional level like this is the power the power duo and the hierophant for me in this mix you know a few different things the hierophant can talk about you know different values so we have the two keys here now we have the key of the past and this can link to the values of um, that were imposed on us by our parents, by our childhood, by the institutionalized settings in our lives, by lovers and relationships, in the workplace, having to march to other people's um, drum, the beat of their drum, having to ride on a partner's coattails, not being able to, you know, be in your own glory and shine your own light. But the Hierophant also has the second key here, which is about your true values, aligning with your higher self. So this is about you now coming into a chapter where you are leading the way, leading the charge in your own life. You know, you're now connected with your own sense of faith and hope and your own values. And from that place, that's when we can attract in pure abundance because we're connected with our higher self and we're sort of in that flow of life. And that's when abundance flows to us. With the Hierophant too, in terms of these cards, definitely not going to rule out that some of you might be entering into a committed love relationship um, in 2020. So that could be deepening a commitment in a current relationship, engagement or marriage, or meeting somebody who you can go the distance with and that you can build this beautiful, abundant life with them. This is the, the power triplet here that we see, Pisces. So... I just see you, you know, you've, you've completed a massive cycle, 
you have whatever you've let go of in 2019 whatever you've transmuted and purged has left a massive space energetically to fill with abundance and you know that's the energy that we see coming in for you in the very early stages of 2020. Pisces I'm going to leave it there I don't think I need to say anything more about that it's a beautiful shining reading I wish you all the best with it if you're celebrating this week with friends and family I uh, wish you a happy and safe time um, and as in terms of this reading keep in mind it is a general one I'm not saying it's going to be like this for every Pisces although I truly hope it is because it's great um, feel free to leave me a comment love to hear how it's playing out in your daily life keep facing your true north you're already doing it Pisces and we'll keep doing it together in 2020 for plenty more readings.